Hey, good morning, it's your boy DJ Wolf. We got a lot to talk about here, guys. Um, I'm gonna start with this uh, video I was getting ready to post of uh, Corinne Gaines, the young 23 year old mother of two that got killed uh, by the cops a couple of days ago. And I know I'm gonna go out on a limb on this. I know what you, some of you guys are gonna say. Not that I care. But this death, this tragedy was avoidable by her. That's right. I said it. This tragedy was completely avoidable by her. And here's why. Number one, the young woman was driving without tags on the car. She refused to give up her license to the officers and registration because she didn't have tags in the car. That was the reason she got pulled over. This young woman had a history of, uh, of traffic offenses. Okay? It's a lot going on with this young woman. A lot. And the loud music goes another the whole story. But you you can't sit there and how can I put it you can't sit there and pretend like you're a mild citizen when you're doing this kind of stuff alright you can't play that kind of game with people particularly police officers alright police officers are to protect and serve not all police officers that run that you run into are bad police officers. Let's be real. Just like all black people you run into are bad people. That goes for everything and everybody on the planet. Not everything is bad is bad. I'll pull like this. Not everything is bad is good. Not everything is good is bad. You know? It's just a matter of who you dealing with? What pisses me off is the fact that sometimes I think we have the same mentality as white people. I'm being serious. You know, you get on board one thing, everybody thinks it's, it's, it's all the same. We do the same thing. You know? And maybe that's part of our thinking that we need to change as well. But... To sit there and try to uh, fill a buster on these cops for something you know you was wrong for doing is just wrong in itself. I'm sorry. It is. It is just that. Wrong. Okay? And yeah, I said it because it's facts. All right? And you got everybody jumping on the bandwagon about, oh, well, she, you know, this, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, I don't want to hear that mess. I'm sorry. I really don't. She put her kid, her children in harm's way. If the cops was going to shoot her, you know, they would have done it. I mean, at the traffic stop. And they had no intention of messing with her then. Now, I have a video, which I'm going to post, of the situation with her and her son at the apartment. I just... I was just getting ready to load it up, and I thought, do I want to show that kid's face? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to show the video. I may block his face out, but I'm not going to show his face. I just decided I wouldn't want anybody showing my child's face, especially a kid that young. I just didn't want to do it. It's, just, it's, just, it's on YouTube. People post it on YouTube. I still may post it on it anyway. I just kind of felt a little guilty about doing it. You know, I felt very guilty about doing it. I said, I just, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So, I don't know. I'm going to post. I'm going to post one of the video. I'm going to post a video on it though. But what I might do is get into it later on this evening and edit and then post it. But right now, I'm talking about it. And I'm gonna say this. I think this young girl. Put herself 
in harm's way in a situation she didn't have to be in. You know, but she number one she had she had a lot of attitude. All right. I'm listening to Boyce Watkins. Yeah, I'm gonna call him out. I just didn't I, I really didn't want to get into that, but I had to say something. This is a very intelligent brother who was a professor at Syracuse University. Okay. He's doing a thing uh, called uh, financial boot camp. And I, I'm, not, I'm not knocking uh, Boyce Watkins. I just had to issue one thing that he said. He tried to compare the actions to what she, uh, Corey Gaines, uh, Corinne, Corinne Gaines doing with Harriet Tubman. There is no comparison. I wouldn't even brought that up. I thought that was an odd statement. You know, bro, really, I, I, you know, I respect the work that you do, but I really, I had to totally disagree with you on that statement. You know? And to say that she was being harassed by the cops, I watched the video, the entire 20 minute video that I have. Not really. She really wasn't. You know? And there are some things called the law. Some things is a law. Everybody, no one is supposed to be above the law. Let's be real about that. Regardless of what the situation is, no one is supposed to be above the law. Nobody. In her case, in that traffic stop, she tried to be just that. And she wasn't. Let's be real. All right? Like I said, I'm not defending uh, anything but the situation itself. I'm just, I'm just going by what the situation was that I saw. And for her to sit there and uh, put her compromise her kids uh, lives in that those situations was irresponsible it really was and I don't care about what anybody think about it, that's my opinion it was totally irresponsible you know so that's <clears throat> pretty much the gist of what I got to say about it I'm <clears throat> I may still post a video I kind of don't want it because the boys picked faces on it and it's just heartbreaking I'm telling you it was heartbreaking. And I, I should do it anyway because I want people to see the risk that this woman took for her babies. And mind you, the young boy got injured. Alright? And I'm looking at his little sweet face and I'm like, really? You would take that chance on your babies? You know? I, I just thought, I thought the whole situation with her was irresponsible. I, I really do. I, you know, there's enough problems as it is. It's almost her response, her irresponsibility with her children putting her herself in a situation with cops like that. Uh, surround with guys with, with guns, by the way, who really don't give a fuck in some cases. You know, and I ain't saying all cops are like that, but I'm just saying in some cases, some of them don't care. Let's be real about that. I wouldn't want to take that chance on my kids regardless. I really wouldn't. To me, it's as irresponsible and, and, and downright uh, deadly to do that as the guy who drowned his little boy up in Milwaukee a couple of days ago. Yeah. That's how dangerous that is. And yeah, I said it because it's fact. So, I mean, like I said, I'm going to post, I'm going to post a video anyway, because one of these videos is going up. I, I just got to pull, pull, one of them has got to go up there, I'm, I'm sorry. But, because I want you to see for yourself, make up your own mind on oh, your thoughts about this, even on, on, on this podcast here. So, that's all I got to say about it right now, guys. Uh, questions or comments, of course, you can reach me at, for all to hear at gmail.com I can also be reached also at for all here on outlook.com for all here on twitter and for all here on youtube alright guys uh, any questions or comments let me know uh, right here on this youtube channel you can go right here and put your comments right below and tell me what your thoughts are about this Okay, again, this is DJ Wolf. 
I got much more to say about this and other subjects on the back burner. I will talk to you later.